This weekend, conservatives will gather in Washington for the Conservative Political Action Conference, also known as CPAC, a conference that is serving as the staging ground for the right's intra-party culture wars. Anti-gay groups such as the National Organization for Marriage and the Family Research Council are now boycotting the conference because Go Proud, a conservative gay group, has signed on as a conference affiliate. Almost everyone on the gay group's advisory council is scheduled to speak during the three-day event. The conservative movement's rift on the issue seems to be literally playing out around its most prominent families' dinner tables as well. With the younger generations of McCain's and Bush's turning against their father's politics in support of gay rights. I'm Barbara Bush, and I'm a New Yorker for marriage equality. Former vice presidential candidate Sarah Palin will not be attending the conference due to a scheduling conflict, she says, but offered up a sort of jumbled endorsement of Go Proud's inclusion at the conference to CBN, a Christian network. Perhaps what it is that, that you're suggesting in the question is, should the GOP, should conservatives um, not reach out to others, not um, participate in, in events or forums that, that uh, perhaps uh, arising within those forums are, are issues that maybe we don't personally agree with. And, and, and I say, no, it, it's like you being on a panel with, um, shoot, with a bunch of the liberal folks whom, whom you have been on and, and um, you provide good information and, and balance and um, you allow for healthy debate, which is needed in order for people to gather information and make up their own minds about issues. I look at participation in an event like CPAC or, or any other event along, it kind of in that same vein as the more information that people have, the better. By skipping CPAC this weekend, Palin will be missing out on a dance party for gay CPAC attendees hosted by conservative website mogul Andrew Breitbart. Breitbart is calling it, quote, the Roy Cohn C CPAC Breitbart Homocon Welcoming 80s Extravaganza. The headliner will be Sophie B. Hawkins, famous, of course, for her hit single, Damn, I Wish I Was Your Lover. With party poopers like the Family Research Council out of the way, sounds like conservatives might actually find their way to a good time. Joining me now is Chris Barron, chair of Go Proud. Uh, Chris, um, it's going to be a better party without those guys, isn't it? It's absolutely going to be a better party. And, and, you know, I think the thing that's really been missing in this entire debate, uh, you know, there's been, uh, there's a handful of folks who are boycotting CPAC. Uh, the vast majority of the conservative movement is united. They're united behind CPAC. They're glad to have Go Proud involved. That's the real story here. The story is the conservative movement is united, and there are a handful of folks who are in the industry that I refer to as the anti-gay for pay industry who make a living demonizing gay people. And the fact is, is their message isn't resonating with conservatives. It's most certainly not resonating with young conservatives. And that's why those people have chosen, you know, to take their ball and go home. Well, Sarah Palin's in trouble with some conservatives based on what we heard her just say. Uh, Frank Cannon from the American Principles Project says, Governor Palin should clarify her comments by letting us know whether in her definition, traditional marriage is a core component of conservatism. Chris, if traditional marriage is not a core component of conservatism, what is? Uh, well, first off, I think it's very entertaining that Frank Cannon from an organization, the American Principles Project, is questioning what is and isn't a, a core conservative principle, considering his group supports amnesty for illegals. Um, I'd like to, to poll conservatives and folks at CPAC about how they feel about amnesty for illegals. Uh, the fact is, is that our organization believes that marriage is an issue that ought to be decided by the states, and preferably by the people in those states, not by judges. That is a, a 
consistent conservative position. The fact is marriage has been the province of the states for 225 years. You know, we share that position with such noted rhinos as Vice President Dick Cheney and Ambassador John Bolton. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, this isn't a boycott that's been about the policy positions that Go Proud has. This has been a boycott by fringe folks in the conservative movement who are motivated by anti-gay bigotry, and that's it. If this was about policy, why didn't they boycott when Dick Cheney spoke last year? Why aren't they boycotting Ambassador Bolton speaking? Why aren't they boycotting the presence of somebody like Pat Toomey, who said he supported repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell? Because at the end of the day, it's not about policy for these folks. For these fringe folks, it's purely and completely about anti-gay bigotry. Chris Barron of GoProd, thank you very much for joining us tonight, and have fun at the party. Thanks, I definitely will.